scale division. We're going to be covering the top two heats. Heat number one about to get underway. So remember, a little bit different to top two heats. Uh, They're going to start and it gives an opportunity for the lower teams to actually chase. There's a little bit of excitement here at the battle for uh, 2023. Powered by Puma. In lane one, we've got FSB Untamed. Lane two, Aggressively Average. Lane three, Vitan Dio Gloria. Lane four, Riggs and Stiggs. Lane five, Scale Tippers. Lane six, FAFO, Flock Around and Find Out. Lane seven, Nomads. Lane eight, Three Jokes of uh, Art Axe. Axes. <coughs> lane 9, Bob of Bobbies. Lane 10, 152, Wad of Witches. Lane 11, Snatch, Crackle and Pop. Lane 12, Willoway 2.0. Lane 13, RTF, Powerpuff Girls. Lane 14, Sugar Plums. Lane 15, Forge, Sakar, and Vain. And off we go. Heat number one here of the scale division. They got uh, 16 toes to bar that they will have to complete. And then round one, they got uh, those toes to bar and then burpee to pull up. Round two will be their pull ups and then round three it will be the bar muscle up while the partner hangs. So those are the differences. You see those athletes all on those burpee pull ups. One, five, two ladies there. They were next to uh, Barbell Barbies. Lots of talented athletes in the scale division, and uh, they're teetering on the brink of moving into the open division. I think a couple of these athletes next year will see them making their way into that open division. And as I mentioned earlier on, now. Uh, CrossFit community here in South Africa getting ever so better every year. Onto those rope climbs, they have a uh, four meter rope climb. The foundational had a three. So you'll see there's a second set of blue tape. Some of these teams choosing to go with a single and the other athletes choosing the double. Just uh, going on the history of last uh, yesterday. Let's see what technique she uses yet. Get those feet nice and high. So what you can do there is you see she's just putting that foot next to the other one. She should actually be stepping onto so the back foot is to wrap around and step onto that rope to secure that rope if you don't secure that rope uh, it makes that that rope climb that much harder you see lane number one done and dusted there with those handstand walks that's fsb untamed they're your current leaders on the leaderboard after the first two events yesterday remember there are three events today gymnastics cardio as well as the final and that final is a brutal 20 minute workout and it will be a staggered start in the final remember it is 2.5 meter increments if they fail like you just saw now they'll head back she's gonna go for that second 2.5 she'll cross there both hands over looks like she wants to go unbroken will she do it she does both hands and off she goes into that uh, second round they're going to do synchronized uh, keeping pull-ups in round two obviously they first have to get through those toes to bar then onto the synchronized onto the rope climbs into the deadlifts and then back to the handstand walks and then that remaining time they will have to do 
that third round has a mini AMRAP of its own, its own little competition. So they got round one that they have to compete, round two that they have to compete, and then round three, the many time you'll compete that as many times as you can. Gets over the 2.5, shakes out those arms. Hopefully she doesn't feel the pressure of the camera on her. And there we go, our leaders in lane at number two. That is aggressively average. Lane number one, not too far behind. And lane number three, Vitan Dio Gloria. And uh, back to those handstands. So that lady there, you can see her hips. You want to try to get your hips in line with your shoulders or just slightly in front of your shoulders. If those hips are in front, you are not going to be able to get up. And you'll see that's usually when, a, when, a, when people doing handstands will fall forward like you see here on the right of your screen. There we go, that's a little bit better. She's getting those hips there. To go just past the shoulders. And we are back here with our current leaders. And here we go, we can see exactly why they are your leaders. It looks like, sorry, lane three are actually your leaders. Lane three is Viotan, Vitan Dio Gloria and uh, Riggs and Stiggs. They are currently in third, while in second place is FSB Untamed. And as I say that, here comes lane number four, Riggs and Stiggs. They get themselves into uh, that third place or even second place. They are now second. Sorry, they actually now in first, that's correct. My producer giving me the finger, yeah, but it's giving me uh, sticks. <laughs> Rigs and sticks. Sticks are currently your leaders here in lane number four. And then it is closely contended between lane one, lane two, and lane three for that second and third spot. It's gonna come down to that uh, final round, round number three and how long you can hang on for because it is literally balls to the walls just empty out the tank with that remaining time in round number three so remember if an athlete comes down and they decide they want to swap out they're allowed to swap out but they have to come back to the holding area once they're in the holding area, only then can the next athlete go out. And they won't have to restart those handstand walks. They'll start where the previous athlete came down. And now you see there, one athlete hangs, the other does a bar muscle up. She's almost up and she gets up. She gets up. And you see some of these ladies here, they are in that uh, round of three. Great shots here. And looking for that bar muscle up, she gets it. All these athletes on that uh, round of three. This is where your grip strength it needs to be exceptional, as well as your rope climb technique. Remember, scaled are allowed to use their feet. You can see that that foot is too far behind. I like to keep my feet nice and close. And you can see she gave up on her feet. If you keep your feet nice and close, you have better control. Look there, just to the right in lane no number two. That was a great technique of the rope climb. Forty seconds remaining, and just powering her way up there. Riggs and Stiggs, you're still your leaders at the moment. 
30 seconds left. They will have to hold on to that ball. Do not let go. And they're going to have to go unbroken here. They're just going to have to keep digging deep for this one. When you only have a few seconds left, she should have uh, hung on to that bar. They might have lost that lead because of that transfer. And that's time. We're going to have to have a look at those judges' scorecards because Riggs and Stiggs were in the lead. And all that Athi had to do was remain on the bar and finish off those, uh, those deadlifts. And they could have walked away with that win, but I think that transfer might have cost them the win. We'll have to look at the judges' scorecards. But don't go anywhere. Next up, we have scaled heat number two.